The number of elephants in Western Central Africa has declined considerably in recent years. Secretary General of the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species Sites revealed this at the opening of the 69th Week Committee on Poaching Across the Continent since 2011. Now what we're seeing in 2017 is we've had five consecutive years where the overall level of poaching has declined. It hasn't declined fast enough. Uh, we still have too many elephants poached across the African continent. But what we are seeing is significant improvements in some regions, in particular in Eastern Africa. We're back to pre-2008 levels of poaching, but we still see serious problems in Central and Western Africa. And this is where we still have an imminent risk of local extinctions because we haven't managed to get the poaching under control in those areas. Estimates from the Washington Convention show an actual illegal killing of elephants, which to date remain at a high level, surpassing increases in population rates. In 2006, about 30,000 elephants were killed in Africa. This push led to the beginning of a global effort to stop the illegal ivory trade. But the situation remains bleak in some countries where law enforcement is weak, corruption is high and poverty is high. Transit countries and destination countries, on the other hand, make great efforts to reduce traffic. The laws were strengthened for the circumstance. Sites will also examine the use of the illegal trade in pagolin, portion of rhinos, as well as save totoba and vaquita, two fishes near extinction. The illegal trade in endangered species is estimated at about $20 billion each year.